awful long way to Pacquiao's last knockout victory. Manny Pacquiao beat Miguel Cotto by knockout in November 2009. Ready? Is Jeff Horn okay. going to go the same way? Pacquiao looked so relaxed, so confident as he made his way into the ring. The WBO welterweight title fight now is underway. Good. That's nothing. But the style to beat Pacquiao. Right hand is the key. Really fast start from the Australian. To do. Set a, set a fast pace. Well, I still think he's struggling with his distance a little bit. And his toes bouncing around. Easy. Early stages, of course. Hand inside to the ball, has to give it a bit of ground. Horn really going looking for pass. Will catch up or might be a cut there. Break him up. The damage around that right. Horn. It's better from the champion. Go. He is trying it. Again, clipping him with that right hook. Just slowing perhaps a little from early on. By tie again though. One up against the champion. Man. The footwork moving, gotta keep that high. He's come in with a real game plan and he's making it pass. The does money Pacquiao have to do to turn this around? Again, you hear the shouts from the Horn corner, keep moving, keep if he wasn't already. And I said, the head clash, a huge upset. Pacquiao, ideology from Pacquiao now. Caught it to his step a little bit as he underestimates. Australia senses that they're very much on now. Looking for him here in this seventh round. Fighting like a man who accidental head clashes. They're saying that Pacquiao is well in front in this fight. You've got to give Paul the credit. Well, it's Pacquiao now. And is he starting answers that may in the ninth round? Oh, this takes another big right hand and a little wobble from the leg. Oh. And the power is here with the Filipino. Pacquiao Sayao is finding his man. Now he's being losing seconds of the round. Holds on to Manny Pacquiao, who's won. Well, you heard what the referee said. Oh. Heads coming close to the skin, haven't they? So look at this. Maybe this is the. Stop. At the end of the ninth round, finishing the fight, and yet he's come back and responded like this. Hang of the gloves together. Has it pushed himself out of touch? It's just, it's a dream of sport, and this is a dream come true so far on my card for... Oh. Oh, good shot, Pacquiao, left hand. But Horn takes it. Oh, oh they're seeing the fight. He was stronger. Oh, good shot there. Pacquiao just pawing oh. with that jab. And jeers from the packet into a real brawl. Hey, carry on. Good right hand. Not a lot from Pacquiao so far in this final period. Good to go. Oh, good right hand. Oh, it's good there. Good, good right hand. Hold right there. For pride, fighting for reputation, mate. Because both these men have given Ooh. everything, largely by head clashes. There's another one, least for Manny Pacquiao. Look at the effort here it's of an extraordinary fight. And it's Horn who's finishing, producing the grandstand finishes. The final bell goes.
Well, what about that? Both of them look as though they have the energy to continue. 113. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. And no! Yeah! Horn's got it! Horn's got it! Champion of the world! for the world title fight, Crawford and Horn. And let it be noted, Robert Byrd, the third man inside the ropes, the veteran referee, so credible, but a concern raised by the camp of Jeff Horn this week because there's a tendency for Byrd. Lunges in just like that with his head. Oh, Horn comes in with a right hand that lands flush on Crawford. And that's the shot I'll be worried about early on with Crawford. Sometimes he gets hit early. <laughs> Pretty good looking opening rounds here. And good exchange there as Crawford able to land. Horn had the big right hand. Crawford had a couple guys. good combinations, including the work to the belt. All right, let's size these up in the eyes of the two division world like, like that. Guarding, you and you saw Horn shooting. land the right hand a couple of times during that last round. Three time fighter of the year, the current 2017 ESPN. Fighter of the year, also been honored by the Boxing Writers of America. The trainer of Bud Crawford, Bernardo, what was he saying to Bud at the he end of that told, last round? He told Bud Reckling, he's got to move Reckling, his move feet. On. He's got to avoid the burst that Jeff Horn tries to come in with in that rhythm. See, he can't even land that jab right now. And every time oh, Horn steps go, in, go, he likes to go, body up out. with you, throw you off balance. Don't allow you to let your combinations or your counters go. He gets close to you. Naturally the bigger man. Not the better athlete, not the more skilled fighter, thus the left hand that landed moments ago with the reaction time of Crawford. It's a left hand that comes in from Horn, and then they tie up on the inside again as somebody willing to work free. Trying to come with a left uppercut as Horn came forward. End of two in our world title fight. Just how close you can stand, as you can see. You've got to keep breaking that rhythm all the time, faint, push the button, go. But yeah, going well. You know, going really well. When you're in there, I'd slide around him a little bit more, but you're going chest by. That's centering on the relationship of trainer to fighter. That time he came forward and Bud nailed him. Right hook. Charging in with a right hand, and now they exchange in the middle of the ring. And all that Bud Crawford overcame to arrive to this mountaintop of a career. There it is. Terrence Crawford followed him out with straight punches. Horn willing to still come through the front door. Makes it fun, doesn't it? Just falling forward that time. Defensive flaw. Crawford couldn't take advantage, but a left hand hits the mark. And now a pop jab. And a good left hand and a combination from the American. Excellent round from Bud Crawford. And you see the swelling already over got the right eye. You got some blood over the right eye. Stay on him. Start sliding around him. Need the time, Adam. Don't slide around him. Can't stand in front of this guy. Slide around him. Going well. And guess what? Mayweather finessed him. Kind of what, what Terrence is doing right now. Letting him Let run him go, into shots. Let him, go. Let him fall into punches. Free up your hands. Mayweather, Setting traps for him. Mayweather also ended it with one clean shot. Fight's a not check, over yet. A oh, check stop, stop. Crawford yeah. later in the fight. He's, he's, not, he's not working the body. No, 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 no. no he's no, not no, even no, necessarily no, no. winning the, the, the strength battle no, when it comes not. to these wrestling he's matches. Not. That's a very good point. Yes. And should be noted because we talked so much about that being... Another good lead left hand from the Nebraska. And he looks confident right now. He's slow and steady. Let's check in with Adnan Burke and Andre Ward. All right, Tess, thank you. And Vasily Lomachenko, who vie for that title to be called the world's best. Tonight would be a crowning achievement to become a three-division champion if Crawford keeps up like this. Good start to round number five. Well, Crawford's sharp right now, just sharp shooting. From he's comfortable, he's in control. 
He knows his range now. Now he's executing his attack. Go. Punch he's winning out. every Punch aspect out. of the ring right now. Inside, middle, outside. Even a wrestling horn soul. He's pushing him around. Mm -hmm. You can see that redness above the right eye as he sends back Horn. Crawford's in control here in round five, giving the best of the Aussie. And now this thing's getting real ugly. You okay? Run. You've talked about the dichotomy of somebody who's a great humanitarian who's gone off to do charitable efforts in Africa compared to the guy who gets in this ring. Whoa, whoa, he enjoys whoa, hurting <laughs> And the story simply said Mark Kriegel. And right now, he... The rhythm pressure, sliding around him left, sliding around him right, up and down, hitting from all angles, over his uppercut. Come on, Come on, Jeffrey. Build the pressure. How about Pacquiao? The Horn fight came up against the limits of his size and his age. Right now, Horn is coming up, at least against Crawford, the limits of his talent. Stop, let him up, let him up, Occasionally, let him up, let him up. you just got to land a few shots. It's, it's a lot easier said than done, even on the inside. Good uppercut that time from Bud Crawford. The left hand landed. Good body shot as well. Remember, he scored his undisputed championship with a... Will do or have done. If it goes that long. Halfway through the title fight. And Crawford in control. NFL stars to come see the great Bud Crawford. No, no, no. See, it's it's urgency. And Horn. He's trying hard. He landed. But you see how Terrence got his head out the middle right away and leaned back. Yeah, so he's leading with the hand. Worth noting that Rushton gave him a motivational speech, not a speech. Everything is all set up by the jab from Crawford. Lead left hand from Crawford, and you just don't see Jeff Horn with that desire to come downhill every attempt as he did in rounds one, two, and three. We call that lead left hand that he threw. He threw. Oh, left uppercut nearly tagged him solid as he came forward that time. But is holding this young man up. <laughs> By the way, there was so much made of the judging in the fight against Pacquiao for Jeff Horn. And then there was the review of the scores and the Pacquiao controversy that ensued. In terms of his left hands all night long, now orthodox is Bud Crawford. There is the left hook, and this is where he can be most dangerous, Mark. When up, Crawford up, goes to the right hand, that's... Oh. ...to the head. Short. I got up. I got five seconds, five seconds. on the whole time. We're all good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's soon be a three division champion. With a round like that in evidence, if you're Glenn Rushton and you love your fighter, how long do you let this thing go on? He's a tough guy, is Horn. He's the champion. Dominated. He has been hurt. He has been outclassed. But all it takes is one go of it. <laughs> Here's Mike. And now the new undefeated WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Hur.